Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So we are back talking about the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale for spring 2023. And what I'm going to do today is break down all the foundations and concealers and facial tints, uh, SPFs that are going to be on the sale. So if you are interested in a foundation or a concealer or a tinted moisturizer or a sunscreen that has some sort of tint in it as well, that is what I'm going to be going through today. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. And again, this is just going, I'm going to start with the foundations. There's actually only one concealer and I believe it's on the last day. So I'm going to talk about the foundations and then the concealer, and then I'm gonna be talking about SPF. So we're gonna talk about foundations first. And the first foundation is on the first day, which is Sunday, March 12th, and it is going to be the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Now I actually have a small one here. I recently bought a mini. Um, I'm wearing this today, and this is the third time I've worn it, and I really like this foundation. Now, I like a full coverage foundation, but I really like this one. This is a full coverage foundation, but it also is very long-lasting. This is something, um, there's another full coverage long-lasting foundation that I really like as well that's also in the sale. This one, I am kind of I am leaning toward that this is going to be uh, a, more of a favorite. Um, I'm actually working on a full coverage foundation kind of ranking and video right now, and this is going to be up there. I really like this. Um, this foundation normally is $40. It's going to be 20. This was 16. <laughs> this is the mini and it was 16. Um, and I have the shade 27S. The mini only comes in a few shades, um, but I think this is a pretty good match for me, but it goes on really, really well. Um, I think it's probably great for oily skin too, but it's very long lasting. Um, you gotta work fast because it does dry down fast, but really good. So again, it's normally $40. It is going to be 20 and I think it's an excellent foundation. So if you're looking for a full coverage, long lasting foundation, this is one to maybe check out on the first day. Okay, so the next foundation type product is going to be on Tuesday, March 14th, which is day three. And this is going to be the Derma Blend Setting Powder. Now, this does come in several different shades. I believe it comes in a translucent and then some um, different shades. Personally, I've never tried this, so I'm not really sure whether or not to recommend. But looking on it, it looks like it has some really good reviews. And also, it has, um, you know, Derma Blend is, is, very, is, is a very well known brand, and a lot of people people like it. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a setting powder, maybe you want to check out. Uh, but personally, I have no, I know I have no personal experience. The next one is going to be Wednesday, March 15th, which is the day four. So the next day, and this is the Eborian BB cream. Um, and it is normally $45 and it is going to be $22.50. Now this one is only going to be online only. Um, again, this is another one that I don't have any experience with. However, uh, I might be picking this one up because I have been looking at this one already because it's got a lot of good reviews. The red one, they have, they have a red one. I think this is only the one BB, BB cream, but there's like a uh, one that combats redness that's like a green tint that works really well um that's kind of gone viral on tiktok but this one um has a lot of good reviews so if you're looking for a bb cream this might be one to try out i'm um, normally 45 going to be 22.50 and again has a lot of good reviews so that is wednesday march 15th the next one is the next foundation full coverage foundation that i own that i wore in the video um talking about the entire sale and it is the estee lauder double wear now this one has been around forever and this is going to be on Sunday, March 19th. So day eight of the sale. And this normally runs $48 and is it will be $24. Now this is a first time steal. So as long as this foundation has been around, this has been a for, this is going to be the first time it's um, on sale. Now I usually buy these at the cosmetic company store, which is basically the Estee Lauder outlet. There you only get these at 40% off. So this is even better than you would get at the Estee Lauder outlet. So 50% off is a really great deal. This is a fantastic foundation. This is like the OG long wear foundation. It just lasts really, really long. You know, um, I think it looks better for me as the day gets, you know, a little, uh, as the day wears on because my oil start to come through so it looks a little bit more natural, but it's one you have to work fast. You kind of get to learn the same thing with the, fa the face tape. You kind of have to work fast with it because it does dry down fast, 
but it lasts all day. Like, you know, I can wear this at Disney and um, it will last all day. And I think the same thing with the face tape as well. So I think these are both very similar. So if you miss this one, this one is a good one to pick up. This one is great. Now the Estee Lauder, I have a pump. Um, but they normally don't come with a pump. The pump is extra. So I don't know if they sell the pump um, at uh, Ulta, but the pump is usually extra. So, you know, that doesn't really matter for me because I can, you know, pour it out. Not a big, not a deal breaker, but you know, these are the two uh, full coverage foundations. I think they're both great, but um, the double wear is a little bit more expensive at 24 um, with the 50% off. Okay, the next foundation is not going to be until Saturday, March 25th, which is day 14, and it is going to be the IT Cosmetics CC Illumination. So it's only the CC Illumination one. This one actually comes in matte and in regular, but it's only the glowy one. I am, I like this one, I don't love it. I'm not a glowy, but I'm not a glowy foundation person. So kind of put it here um, on my hand, but it does leave a... It's, it's just, it's a little bit of a glowy finish. It's got a lot of good coverage. This is a full coverage. It's a CC cream, but it is full coverage. I just, um, it leaves me a little too glowy. And then within three or four hours, it just doesn't last. If I'm using this on camera, it looks great because I can put it on, wear it for a few hours and I wash it off, it's fine. However, if I'm wearing this out, then my oils break through and I have, combination skin, combination to normal skin. So I don't have oily skin, but if you have very dry skin, this one might be one that you really like. So I think it just depends on whether or not you like it is, whether or not what type of skin you have. So I think if you have dry skin, this might be a really good one. For me, my oils start to break through. I live in a very humid climate as well. So it can get very, very humid. That's the only thing with this one. So I do really like this one. Um, just. It's just not, it's more for like if it's really dry outside or I'm using it on camera, but not something that I'm going to wear like it's gonna last all day like the other two. Again, this is Saturday, March 25th, day 14. Now this is normally $44 and it's going to be 22. So again, if you have dry skin, this might be one checking out, but if you have oily skin, this is a pass. Next foundation is going to be the next day and Sunday, March 26th, which is day 15. Um, this is gonna be entering the third week and this is the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. So this is a powder foundation, normally $39 and is going to be $19.50. I used to use this a lot when I was younger. Um, I don't anymore, I don't really use powder foundations, but I loved this before and it's a staple. It's a really good foundation. Um, this is actually also a first time steal. So again, I think this is more for a younger person. Um, you know, I haven't used it in years. I, I couldn't tell you if it would work for me or not. Now I just haven't used it in, in years. I don't wanna say it wouldn't, but um, I just also don't use a lot of powders either. So, um, but if you like MAC or you wanted to try this one, it might be a good time to pick up. Then you have the next day, which is um, Monday, March 27th, day 16. You have the Pure, Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Powder Foundation SPF 15. This I've had. Now this is also going to be online only and I really like this. This is normally $29.50. It's going to be $14.75 and this is a really good compact powder foundation but it's a mineral so it's just not as heavy as like the MAC one because it's mineral. I will use this in my purse as a touch up. I can use this um, you know over foundation to kind of set it but I, I never use this just as a foundation. I know some people do. I will use this sometimes over like a tinted moisturizer or an SPF with a tint um, just to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of coverage. So that's kind of how I use it. But again, it's one that I keep in my purse. Doesn't age me. It, it blends because it's a mineral. It blends really well. It melt, kind of melts into your skin. But it's a really good one. I like it. And for, you know, under $15, it's a really good buy. Okay, moving on to Wednesday, March 29th. This is going to be day 18 of the sale. Next is the Derma Blend Flawless Creator. Now, this is like a serum drop. It's very interesting. It's online only, and it's like a full coverage foundation that is drops. This has me intrigued. I've never heard of this before. The reviews are really, really good about it, um, but I've just never tried it. So I love full coverage. I may pick this up. I don't really need another foundation, but I may pick it up because I'm curious about it. But personally, I have no experience with it. And that is the last of the foundations, the true foundations. 
So Ulta did add another concealer to the sale and it's going to be on Saturday, March 18th. This is from Fenty Beauty. It is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. And personally, I do not have any experience with this one. I have never tried it. I did look on the reviews and I'm gonna show you some of the reviews here. You'll see um, there's just mixed. Uh, some people say it's the best concealer ever and then some people say that it creases. I think it just really depends like anything, a concealer's personal preference. So um, it really just depends. I, again, some people said it has really great coverage and then some people say it's patchy and separates and it creases. So uh, it's going to be $15, which is a really great price for a concealer, but it really just is going to depend on you. And then, like I said, the only concealer in the sale is going to be on the last day, which is Saturday, April 1st, April Fool's Day, day 21 of the sale. And it is going to be the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy um, Concealer. Editing Shannon here. So Ulta has added the original Shape Tape Concealer to this sale. It will also be offered at 50% off on the same day on Saturday, April 1st. In this video, I'm only talking about the Ultra Creamy because that's the one I'm a fan of. Personally, I am not a fan of the original Shape Tape. It's just a little too heavy for me. I don't think it's made for women in their mid 40s. However, if you are in your 20s and don't have middle-aged under eyes, you may love it. But just note that in this video, I'm specifically talking about the ultra creamy because that's the one I'm a fan of and I like this I I don't love it but I like it I'm wearing it today I also wore it in the um, original Ulta 21 days of beauty sale videos and this is normally $31 it's going to be $15.50 and it is going to be online only I have the shade 20b I think light and it's really good um it's a really good you just have a little bit goes a long way um I do not, the, the original shape tape does not work for me. This one works for me. I think this is good for the more mature skin. It definitely works, but if you use too much, it's going to look cakey. It's going to, you know, age you. The key is to make it, you know, not use that much. I use a dab in the middle. I use a dab here, blend it out, and that is all you need, but it lasts. It doesn't really, all concealers crease on me. I mean, I'm 46, but it, it works really well. I really like it. So um, again, for $15.50, it's a really good concealer. Um, I I don't know if I'll, I, I won't pick it up because I have other concealers that I really like. This one is probably getting close to being expired. Still works really well, but I won't be replacing it just because there's others that I like. However, if you want to try it, $15.50 is a good price. Okay, so now we're going to move over to the SPS. I'm going to kind of start from the beginning of the sale as well. There's not that many. There's a few. So I'm going to talk about the SPFs. So the first one is going to be, actually there's two, on Monday, March 20th, which is day nine. So already into the second um, the second week of the sale. The first is a body sunscreen, but I wanted to incre inc include it in here because I think it's a unique product. It's the Campari Sun Shield SPF 50. And it is an online only and first time steal. And this is like a a kind of like a body serum it's kind of gives you a glow and it's also SPF 50 so uh, I mentioned this in the original video I wish this was happening before my cruise because I totally would have purchased it to purchase on my cruise um, because it would have given me nice glowy skin and then also give me some some sun protection but uh, alas I will actually be on the ship during that time so um, that is a really interesting product though I I love Campari so I think it's great and then also that day is something I am going to be picking up and it is the nude sticks nude screen and it is normally $36 it's going to be 18 it is basically a tinted um, moisturizer with a SPF it comes in a clear but then it also comes in a couple different shades reviews are great I love nude sticks I've talked about this before so this is online only and a first time steal so um, if this is something that I love putting a little bit of you know sunscreen that has a little bit of coverage just kind of for every day and rather than having you know just sunscreen because that's usually what I do so this is something I'm looking for for every day I think it's a great product and um, I'm definitely picking it up 
Okay, moving on, we have Wednesday, March 22nd, day 11, and it's the Origins Ginseng Tinted. Normally, $46 is going to be $23. I've tried this. I've gotten a couple samples of this. This works really well. Good SPF, little bit of tint, you know, tinted. So I won't pick, pick it up because I'll probably be, be picking up the nude sticks, but it's a really good product. So again, a really good tinted, um, tinted sunscreen, you know, for every day. So I think that's really great. And then you have on Monday, Monday, March 27th. So a couple days, day 16, you have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Lotion. Um, and now this, I believe, is like five ounces. This is just a sun lotion. Um, I forgot which SPF it is, but I think it's 50. And it's just sheer. So this has no, um, no tint or anything. So there's no coverage on it but it's a really good sunscreen and I've used this and it's one that can be used on your face or body. It is normally $49, it's going to be $24.50 and this is also a first time steal. Really good solid you know, um, sun protection that you can you know, use on your face or your body. Um, you know, it's expensive, I wouldn't use a body for that price, but um, it's a really good, and I've used it on my face and it worked really well. Um, but personally, I would probably go for one of the other ones that have tint, because I think that you can kind of serve you know, two purposes, unless you're going to wear something under makeup. So if you're going to put like a full coverage foundation, then that would be probably a good, you know, sunscreen to do. And then the last tinted sunscreen is going to be on Wednesday, March 29th, day 18, and it is the Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint SPF, and it is online only. Again, this is something that I've tried. I've tried a little sample and re works really well. You know, gives good coverage, has the SPF, Again, personally, I'm going to be picking up the nude sticks because that's the one I want to try. Um, but I think this is also, so if you miss any of the other ones, you're looking for them, really good. $20, Clinique is a really good brand. And, you know, um, you know, it just has a, has a little bit of coverage with the sun protection. You can't go wrong with that. And that, again, is Wednesday, March 29th. Okay, so that is it. That is all the foundations, concealers, SPFs, everything that is going to be in this year's Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale for spring 2023. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be picking up any of these, which one you're looking forward to, and if you were disappointed, if they were, you were maybe hoping a particular product was going to be in the sale and wasn't this year. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. I will be having videos like this for blush bronzers highlighters as well as ash eyeshadows and eye products and um, probably a lip products as well i think those are the ones i'm going to be doing kind of breaking down the makeup products um, i don't think i'll be breaking down any of the skin products but um, i probably will be breaking down each of the makeup products kind of doing what i did here so thanks everyone for watching bye <laughs>